Welcome to the Beautiful Melanin 85. Today we are going to be making a vegan mac and cheese. I'm so excited. Um, this vegan mac and cheese turned out well. I really love this recipe. I have, um, oh my gosh, I think I've tried at least four or five different vegan macs. Um, this one is a more baked one, kind of has that nice crusty top, uh, gooey inside. Um, I've made ones that are kind of similar to the Velve Velveeta shells and cheese. Um, I've made just different types. Um, so I'm really excited for this one. I think this is going to be a great recipe to stick in your recipe portfolio. Even um, you can add to this, add some more flavors and really just make this your own. So I hope that you uh, watch this video and that you enjoy cooking some vegan mac and cheese. Thanks. Okay, so in a pot, I just put about two and a half cups of elbow noodles in a pot, boil and cook as normal. And then I'm, gonna, I'm using a half a cup of vegan butter. You wanna go ahead and melt that butter. Then whisk in the flour, using about four tablespoons of flour. Cook it for about 60 seconds. Make sure you're constantly um, stirring that up, getting out all the lumps that are um, occurring in there. Then you want to go ahead and mix in two cups of vegan Every half and please. half. Go ahead and mix in one cup of unsweetened almond milk. Um, you can do use a nut milk, uh, anything that's creamy. I specifically use the oat milk. Continue to stir that so it's all nice. Um, as you see, here is the oat milk that I use just want to keep it stirred then we're going to go ahead and add in our seasonings so we're going to add in one tablespoon of, I'm sorry one teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of pepper one teaspoon of garlic powder and one teaspoon of onion powder a teaspoon of smoked paprika a splash of liquid smoke and just mix that up checking on the noodles there then we're gonna go ahead and add in the sour cream cream cheese and the mix that up we're gonna add one cup of vegan sour cream and half a cup of vegan cream cheese a lot of mixing going on here but it's definitely all worth it this is just setting up your base once you get those together, you're gonna go ahead and add in your cheese. I added in about two cups of cheddar cheese. I added two cups of pepper jack cheese. And I added, um, I would say about a fourth of Parmesan provolone, excuse me, provolone <laughs> vegan cheese. So it was really nice. It was super cheesy and creamy. Um, continue to cook that on a medium low heat. Continuing to stir and just stir until that puppy becomes super smooth and creamy. These are the cheese. So again, it was two cups of cheddar, shredded vegan cheese, two cups of pepper jack vegan cheese, and then about a quarter of provolone vegan cheese. This part did take a little time because it looked all, well, I won't say that word because who wants to say that word when they're talking about food they're getting ready to eat? Um, but this, this part did take a little time um, and a little work, but it does get smooth and it does get creamy. Sorry if you can hear my kids. I refuse to record this again. I have had three takes. <laughs> and if you can't hear them, yay. Bye. 
light, so there we go. It's definitely getting creamy and smooth. So then I went ahead and add, added in the pasta. You can see some of those chunks are the provolone that I added in. I mixed so half of the sauce in, mixed it up with the noodles, and then I go ahead and pour the rest of the sauce in, mix it up, and then we're going to go ahead and pour it into a casserole dish, top it with some more shredded cheese on the top, and I baked in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes, and then I put it on broil for five minutes and I you just have to watch it like every single minute because broil can go from fine to burnt super quick here it is in the casserole dish and just look at all that man is that not look amazing and then I totally messed up my top because um, this is it on just cooking right here but I had put the aluminum foil over top of it and I didn't tint the pitch, so the cheese that was on top all got ripped off, unfortunately. So, um, well, I guess not all of it, but here it is. It's looking great, and it tastes even better, guys. I'm just so excited. Um, I know I was, I didn't give all the ingredients quite clear, but I will come back and give those ingredients they'll be posted right here okay and so quickly um, I just wanted to recap on here I know that there are some things that are slightly different regarding the measurements um, so I used more uh, garlic more onion uh, more, more spoke paprika and I also added in a little bit of liquid smoke to really give it a nice warm flavor again you can keep it as is and um, go from there. This is one of the people who's causing all the noise and racket. And also, again, I am also so sorry. I see that um, I did not get the voices muted on my original little clips. So you have that noise along with me talking. But guess what? That's life. We will, we will make it better next time, right? Can we say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Bye. Thank you, guys. <laughs>